Okay. Oops. Let this thing stop shaking. <laughs> Scaring me. Anywho, hello, hello, hello. I'm going to give it a moment such that y'all can come in, such that y'all can come in, such that y'all can come in. Oh, hey, hey, Shatu. Hey, hey. It's Shatu and someone else. Oh, okay, no. Hey, you girls. Hi, hi. How are y'all doing? Welcome. Welcome. Hello, hello, no. Hello, Shatu. Welcome to one scholarship a day. Welcome to one scholarship a day. Just give me a moment. I'm about to go live on Hello Shatu. Hello. Hello. I'm about to go live on Clubhouse also. Oh, hello Gustavo. It's good to see you here. It's good to see you here. Just give me a moment, you guys. I'm about to go live also on Clubhouse. I actually come I decided to be coming here earlier than Clubhouse because it's sort of there's a moment that says we are informing people that you're online and i'm like oh okay so it's better to come to instagram first and then then go to clubhouse later Alrighty, okay 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 all right so now it's live on clubhouse hello 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 how are y'all doing how are y'all doing today is Ju um what july today is august august 5th August fifth, you guys. Oh my goodness, it's it's hard to believe that the year is the year is is what the very soon we are heading towards the September's, and when the September's are here, we know that the year is already coming to an end. Oh man, oh man. Welcome to one scholarship a day. How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? I hope everyone is fine. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you are. Thank you guys so much for joining me on one scholarship a day today is the 8th of uh, today is the 5th of august today is the 5th of august i was about to say the 8th the 8th of the 5th month no today is the 5th of august 2021 so welcome 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 how are y'all doing how are y'all doing uh on clubhouse hello Mwazam, hello, Roro, and then there is someone whose name is in Arabic, so I can't pronounce it, so I don't know how to say your name. Forgive me for that. I don't read Arabic, so I can't say your name. Anywho, how are y'all doing? How are y'all doing, you guys? Thank you guys so much for joining me on one scholarship a day. Of course, I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. I'll try to keep it short and sweet, such that y'all can get through, just get the scholarship for the day. Put it on your list of scholarships. See if you're going to be applying for it. And then we keep it pushing. So hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to One Scholarship a Day. My name is Sylvie. And I am the founder of LearnHowToGetAScholarship.com. LearnHowToGetAScholarship.com is a website where we curate scholarships for international students. And we prepare students to apply for scholarships. We do that through group classes, through one-on-one -on -one classes, and through standalone services. So if you're thinking about applying, applying for a scholarship you're thinking about searching for scholarships in different parts of the world you want to study but you don't know how to pay for it definitely go to the website learn how to get a scholarship.com and book 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 you can book a group class you can choose to book either a one-on-one -on -one class or you can say that i just need help with my research proposal that is all i need help with my personal statement and we are going to work with you to get those documents ready all righty here on on clubhouse i actually come with to the study abroad club so if you are new in the study abroad club please click the tiny house above my head go and follow the club and i'm going to invite you all to be members also as you can see the title is also top two fully funded scholarships to the u.s that is because i have a youtube channel and there i also curate scholarships for international students so if you go to the link tree link in my instagram bio you're going to find the link to the latest videos on YouTube definitely go watch it that is a great a great resource where you can get to see fully funded scholarships and see if you are going to be applying for them or not so go binge watch those series take notes and see if you're going to apply for those scholarships or not okay and you guys normally when I talk about scholarships I always say bring a pen and a paper but on one scholarship a day you do not have to because I'm going to tweet out the link to the scholarship so all you have to do is please follow me on Twitter because that is where the links of the scholarships are and also follow me on Instagram because I'm going to take a screenshot of the official website of our scholarship for today and I'm going to put it in my Instagram stories so definitely go and check those out make sure that you can compare the picture on Instagram to be sure that it is the same as the link that you tap on 
Twitter, okay? Alrighty, let us get to our scholarship for today. So our scholarship for today is very interesting because it is um actually called the Swiss Government Excellence Scholarships for Foreign Scholars and, and Artists for 2022-2023 academic year. It's interesting how we have already started having scholarships that extend right through till 2023 academic year. This is what this is like the third scholarship that we are talking about uh these days that already is extending towards uh the 2023 academic year, right? Like that is like year uh like two years away. That we we are already having scholarships that are extending to that place. So it says the Swiss government excellence scholarships for foreign scholars and artists for the 2022-2023 academic year. So that is a scholarship that we are are going to be talking about and you guys i'm just going to speak a bit about the money because when i saw it i was like oh wow this is really good so they have different types of of the, the scholarship is structured in different ways so i'm going to try to get to as much of it as possible they have like a research scholarship and then they have an art scholarship so if you are an artist anything within the creatives you can definitely apply for this for this particular scholarship or that the other part of the scholarship is for research and this is available for postgraduate researchers in any discipline so if you're planning to go to switzerland you're considering switzerland as a study destination definitely check out this particular research arm of the project because the research arm of the project is in order to encourage like postgraduate students if you've had like your master's degree and you want to further your studies towards like a doctorate you can definitely go there and then uh there, if you get the scholarship that you can go to universities in switzerland and you can study there so it says that research scholarships are awarded for research or study in all swiss cantonal universities universities of applied sciences and the two federal institutes of technology as well as four research institutes only candidates nominated by an academic mentor at one of these higher education institutes will be considered so what you see about the scholarship is that first you have to apply to uh they have a ton of universities first they have a ton of universities that you can apply to so it doesn't matter your major you guys i know so many of you always ask questions about my major is this so what do i do it doesn't matter about your major what you have to do is look through these tons of universities that are partners to this particular project is your major on the list of these universities go through the, go through all the universities go through their website is your major on the list of this universities or on the list of this uh the ones that are partnering with this particular program is your is your is your major in, in these universities do they offer your major and if they offer your major that is all that you have that is all that you have to do go and check it out if your major is there then now you know that you can find something that you can apply for in all of the universities the second thing to pay attention to they say that you have to be nominated by that institution that you have to be nominated by so you apply to the university and then that university is now going to that university is now going to nominate you and say okay this person that that is the same way for this for the uh for the scholarship to canada the one we we're talking about the other day the um vanier graduate scholars program right you have to be nominated by a university in canada right so this is how this one also works so you need to make sure that you pay attention to that application uh how the application procedure works okay apply to the university first and then now of course there is the art scholarship i don't know if there is anyone here who is in the who is in the art who is anyhow related to the art world it says art scholarships are open to art students wishing to pursue an initial master's degree in switzerland i've had some people tell me that they were into art i don't remember i think i've had someone tell me that they were they, they are art students and they were looking for scholarships this is why it's always good for people to tell me what they are doing because when i remember what you're doing then i can just tell you that oh the scholarship is for you but i remember someone mentioning that they were in the art field so this is a scholarship for them they can also apply for this particular uh scholarships so of course they say that there are different ways that they are going to use in order to choose people but let us get to the money you guys let us see how much are we talking about here how much, how much, how much are we talking about? You all know that. I, I know for sure that this is actually a fully funded scholarship. I know for sure that this is a fully funded scholarship. But what I'm trying to see is how the funding structure is arranged. It says that they will announce the decisions regarding the scholarships. Uh, all right. 
application documents the first thing is select your country of origin according to your passport for receiving further information and the application documents then they've divided the countries into like countries a to l and then countries m to z so i'm not too sure Okay, it says applications are subject to primary selection by the relevant national authorities. The shortlisted applicants are then assessed by the Federal Commission for Scholarships for Foreign uh, Students, which takes the final decisions. And it is based on the candidate's profile, the quality of the research project, and then the synergies and potential and potential for future research cooperation. Oh, wow. So that is what they are looking for. That is what they are looking for in terms of. So actually, I think you have to check like with uh, with in your various countries, check through like the local, the Switzerland embassies in your country to see. I'm sure there you can get more information about this. This is very strange because, oh, no, this is a different type of. Yes, yes, it's, a, it's the same scholarship. It's the same scholarship. So it says that uh, the application process first this program is available in 180 countries around the world so it really doesn't matter where you're from i'm sure you can apply for this particular scholarship and then you get the application from uh like from the swiss representatives and then the date varies from country to country for those that can apply uh for those that will be applying and then the selection is done by the federal commission for scholarships in switzerland and then the, you start your scholarship at any of the swiss uh, institutes at any of the Swiss universities. So that is actually the process. So there is a release of the program, call for proposals, submission uh, to the to the Swiss representatives, and then selection. Then you can now go to the university, which means that the universities work in partnership with the with the what with the uh, like the local embassies in order to pick students for this particular uh, scholarship. Let us see how much how much are we talking about here uh advertise where, where 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 is the money i'm trying to get to the money and i it just says fully funded and it's not tell it's not it doesn't have a breakdown of the money you guys i don't know why it doesn't have the breakdown of the money i really wanted to see um i really wanted to see how how the funding structure is it says fully funded yeah but uh how much how how, how is how is it structured Oh, and then all the the pages of further information are taking me to na 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 na. Oh wait, let me see. Let me see if I can get some information about uh about how how the funding structure is uh is is arranged. Let me just give me a moment, you guys. Let me see. Uh, who can help me find a supervisor? What should I do for contact a professor? The art scholarship supervisor. Ah, na na. They have questions for um. They have questions for for various uh like if you're going to be applying the application procedure the application documents and then the selection of it why doesn't it have the money why doesn't it have the money <laughs> i'm looking for the money you guys that is why I'm, I'm it says fully funded yes fully funded but how much how much where is the money where the money resides where is where, where is the money residing I can't find it, you guys. I can't find where uh it says fully funded. That is what you all should pay attention to. That's the, the greater thing, fully funded. But now what I don't know is now how is the money structured? Is it going to be like a bulk sum that is given, or is it going to be like elf? Uh <laughs> yes, Gustavo, I'm trying to get to how much. I am not sure. I can't find how much how much is actually being given out for this particular scholarship. So I I don't know. It says fully funded, so that I know for sure that everything will be taken care of for anyone who is applying but now how is it structured is it like a box that will be given to students or is it like they are going to pay your pay your uh, like your flight and then pay your tuition fee is that how it's structured that is the part that i'm not too sure of but it says fully funded anywho because i try to keep this life short and sweet i'm going to go ahead and tweet out the link to the scholarship let me tweet it out tweet it out tweet it out you guys let me tweet it out such that you all can go check it out our scholarship for uh august 5th is the Swiss Government Excellence Scholarships for Foreign Scholars and Artists for 2022-2023 academic year. It is called the Swiss Government Excellence Scholarships for Foreign Scholars and Artists for 2022-2023 academic year. So I'm going to tweet out the link to the scholarship right now. I'm going to tweet it out, tweet it out, tweet it out, tweet it out. So if you do not follow me on Twitter, definitely go follow me on Twitter, you guys, because that is where the link so the scholarship is going to be and of course i'm going to take a, a screenshot of the official 
page of the scholarship and i'll put it in my instagram stories so if you do not follow me on instagram definitely go ahead and follow me on instagram and check the stories because that is where i'm going to put uh, the, the official picture of the scholarship so you can compare to be sure that you are on the right page this is a fully funded scholarship to switzerland you guys if you're considering switzerland as a study destination definitely go and check out this particular scholarship <laughs> so gustavo says he made twitter just because of me i hope it is being helpful i hope it is and Shatu says that twitter is banned in nigeria i have heard this so many of you have told me that Twitter is banned in Nigeria. I do not know what to do. I cannot give the links to you all individually. Oh, yes, I cannot give the links to you all individually. Like, you all would just have to, like, Google search. If you go to YouTube, because I actually put these live videos on YouTube. So if you go to YouTube and then you check the video out, you can get there. I put some more detailed information about the scholarship. So maybe I should put the link on YouTube for those in Nigeria who cannot get to the scholarship because Twitter is banned in Nigeria. I thought they had lifted the ban. Anywho, this is not a political show, so I'm just going to keep it pushing. Anywho, I've tweeted it out. I've tweeted it out. I've tweeted it out. You guys, go check it out. Go check it out. Go check it out. And uh, see if it's a scholarship that is for you. If it is not for you, that is fine too. Be a vessel. Spread the information to a friend, a brother, a sister, an auntie, an uncle. Tell them about the scholarship so that they can go check it out. And maybe, maybe apply for it if they qualify. Switzerland is a good study destination. Many people choose Switzerland as a study destination. So I think it will be a good place for you all also to go study. So check it out if it is something that you are interested in. Alrighty, so I hope this was helpful. Remember our scholarship for August 5th is the Swiss Government Excellence Scholarships for Foreign Scholars and Artists for 2022-2023 academic year. And of course, the title of the video says Top 2 Fully Funded Scholarships to the State. Why? That is because over the weekend, I posted a video on the on top two fully funded scholarships to the state one was the um i keep forgetting one was the hubert humphrey uh, scholars program which is actually a program for professionals so if you are someone who has been working and you're thinking about going to the states to do a particular like a study program definitely check out that particular scholarship go ahead and apply for it because it is targeting professionals and then you also have the harvard uh, university academy scholars program which is a scholarship for phd students and phd graduates recent phd graduates who want to go have like a two-year residency at harvard university so one is for professionals the other one is for academics so go check it out and see if it is something that you are curious about if you are eligible for if you are eligible for go ahead and apply for it these programs to the u.s the deadlines is the first of october for both programs so go ahead and check it out check it out as soon as possible so that if you qualify for it definitely go and apply for it okay if you need more details about the program go to the youtube channel check out that video on top two fully funded scholarships to the state over the weekend i'm going to try to do some videos about scholarships that are already targeting 2022 2023 so you're definitely where you subscribe to the youtube channel do well to turn on the notifications such that when i post the video uh, youtube is going to inform you all about it thank you so much uh, gustavo who had never used twitter before but made twitter in order to get the links to the scholarships i am i definitely appreciate that thank you guys so much for joining me my name is sylvie and i am the founder of learn how to get a scholarship.com learn how to get a scholarship.com is a website where we curate scholarships for international students and we prepare students to apply for scholarships nisha on insta on clubhouse has a question so i'm going to bring nisha up and then we are going to do a little chit chat and i'm going to close it out because you all know i like to keep uh one scholarship a day short and sweet okay nisha do you have a question or you have a resource to share with us Go, uh, go ahead. Um, I'm actually, first of all, I wanted to ask, is the scholarship for the fashion designer student as well? Oh, that is a good question because uh, it says art. It just says artist. It says that, it says artist, but it doesn't, <laughs> interesting enough you ask because just on looking at the first video about the scholarship, it is someone doing something that has to do with hair. So I don't, I think when uh, it says that 
Art scholarships are open to art students wishing to pursue an initial master's degree in Switzerland. Art scholarships are awarded for study at any Swiss conservatory or university of the arts. The scholarship is available to students from a limited number of countries only. Oh, okay. Uh, Nisha, the, 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 what I'll tell you to do is go to the go to the website. I've tweeted out the link to the scholarship. Go to the website and see which are the universities that are accepted under the art program. And then go to when you go to this university's website, see if they offer um, did you say fashion fashion designing? Is is, is that what you said? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah, ma yeah, see if they offer fashion designing. If they offer fashion designing, then you can apply for that particular one. But scrape through all the universities, the art universities that are available. Maybe one of them may be offering uh art. Uh, like fashion designing and that will be the one that you can apply for okay ma'am thank you so much and ma'am one more thing can you please send me the link in my dm like i was an active for a while in the group so i don't have the link the links to all the scholarships on one scholarship a day are on my Twitter feed. So if you tap my face here on, on Clubhouse, scroll right down to where it says Twitter. Tap on my Twitter. You go there. Follow me on Twitter. You're going to find the links to the scholarships there. Okay. Thank you so much, ma'am. Alrighty, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Let me wrap it up. My name is Sylvie and I am the founder of LearnHowToGetAScholarship.com. It's a website where we curate scholarships for international students and we prepare students to apply for scholarships. We do that through group classes, through one-on-one -on -one classes, or through standalone services. If you need help with just figuring out writing your research proposal, which is always important for scholarships, or if you need help writing your personal statement, just go to the website, book, and we are going to work with you. We also have one-on-one -on -one services where we work with you one-on-one -on -one to curate scholarships for you. And we also have group classes so you can join whichever one of them that suits you. I have a YouTube channel, so y'all definitely go check it out, check it out, check it out. And on Clubhouse, please do well to follow that tiny house above my head, and I'm going to invite you all to be members. I'm going to see you all tomorrow. Remember, our one scholarship for today was the Swiss Government Excellence Scholarships for Foreign Scholars and Artists for 2022-2023 academic year. I'm going to see you all tomorrow. Bye.